But anyways, let's look into some shit. It's not, look, I'm not just coming for white people. Here we got a jackass that fucked around and found out, and now he's still doing the shit. He just don't learn. Woo. Emotional content. So 15-year-old black girl humiliated by Detroit judge stands, uh, judge stands clapped back legally. Judge, okay, I'm sorry, this dude is white too. Shit. Ah. Uh. Well, I don't know what to tell you. The black teen who was forced to wear jail clothes and handcuffs for falling asleep in a Detroit count, uh, courtroom is taking action against the judge who humiliated her. I thought it was a black judge. Hmm. Ava Goodman, 15, filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court, Eastern, uh, Eastern District of the Michigan against uh, 36th District Court Judge Kenneth King after his power trip last week. Goodman was in in his courtroom as a part of a local... Okay, I can't. I can't. I got to see what this dude looks like. Kenneth King. Damn it. Give me a second here. Shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, those are my hotkeys. Uh, let me check on my phone. Uh, give me just one moment because I just got to know what does this dude look like? Because I could have sworn I saw a picture of him and he was black. I don't know who that white dude is. Let me check. Kenneth. Kenneth King. Judge. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Let me look. I got two different pictures. This dude is black and bald headed. Wait, that's her. That, that's her lawyer. The, the white dude is her lawyer. Yeah, the dude is black. The goddamn judge is black. That was her lawyer. This jackass is trifling. Anyways, uh, Goodman was in court as part of a local organization field trip. To her surprise, she arrived to her work group to find that the agenda that day was not to plant trees, but to visit the courthouse. The suit says Goodman wasn't even interested in practicing law, but would have either stayed home or tried to switch groups to another activity if she could have. Goodman had a rough night's sleep and dozed off in the courtroom after sitting through a homicidal trial that uh, forced her to relive a traumatic event. The suit said King then felt personally disrespected when the teen expressed her opinion on the lecture by nodding off during the presentation. The suit says King launched his own version of Scared Straight by ridiculing Good in front of peers and berated her all while on live stream on his private Facebook page, King's Corner. So you monetize the shit too. You traumatize the young girl and you monetize. Trifling. And quite frankly, I just want to know who the fuck wants to actually listen to a judge ramble on other than the people who are trying to uh, get some money off of somebody or trying to get out of jail. That's all I want to know. Because I'm telling you right now, I don't really be listening to a lot of that shit during court shows. I watch the murder shows, not the court shows. But anyways, the suit claims when Goodman was ordered to change into jail garb and be handcuffed, she was in prison for hours in a holding cell before having to stand in a fake trial. The girl had a long day. Damn, he couldn't cut her some slack. Here's the thing. She's homeless. She doesn't really have a home. Her mother said it. This is it's fucked up. You can't just assume everybody is doing well. The fact that she went on with this is admirable. The suit names King as well as two unnamed officers as defendants who allegedly accused her of disrespecting the judge and treated her like a real juvenile delinquent. What's up with all these motherfuckers in the justice system feeling like they're above the law and they can just treat people like they are beneath us? You are not many kings, okay? Not many kings and not many queens. I don't give a fuck if you a DA, a, 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 a goddamn police officer or a judge. You are not above anybody in this motherfucking uh, country when it comes to the law. Shit. The suit accuses King of violating Goodman's constitutional uh, rights and subjecting him, uh, subjecting her and the other defendants to liability. Oh, subjecting him and the other um, defendants to liability. Goodman demands compensation in monetary damages for mental anguish, emotional distress, and humiliation, as well as medical expenses for psychiatric care she's undergone since the incident. It's pretty devastating. Ava doesn't want to come outside. Uh, come outside. It's hard for her to sleep at night. She's asking me, "Why did the judge do that? Uh, like, uh, do me like this?" Out of all the kids, said Goodman's mother, Latore. Uh, oh Lord, Latoria Till, Miss Till, 
in a, pr a press conference Wednesday. I just want Judge King to take accountability for the way he humiliated my daughter. I feel like he owes her a public apology. The lawsuit is only one more ring in the ripple of consequences King is facing following the whole ordeal. Yes, it was. Uh, though King proudly defended his actions that day, Wayne State University spokesperson Bill Roos tells the De uh, Detroit uh, outlet that King has been suspended for his, uh, for his two fall 2024 courses of judicial process and criminal procedure investigation. In light of the 36th District Court's temporary suspension of Judge Kenneth King, Wayne State uh, University has reassigned two fall 2024 courses to other instructors. As a contracted part-time faculty member, King has never had an ongoing faculty appointment. Pretty much. Now, uh, keep in mind, this judge is Black. This is a Black judge. Uh, that white dude in the pack in the picture was her lawyer. It's the or or a lawyer. And let's see here now. Of course, it's between Wayne State Law School College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Read the statement. King's action in the courtroom that day also resorted in an internal probe that led him to be temporarily removed from his court docket per a statement from Chief Judge William McConico. He's been ordered to undergo training to address the underlying issues that led to the teen's humiliation. Well, there you go. Humiliation for humiliation. Shit, I got to go to a retraining class too, but it ain't for that. I have road rage. Yay. And I don't like driving over an hour behind a dumbass. So yeah, we all got to pay for the shit we do. But uh, let's see here now. Give me a second. I'm checking it out. Let me see. Okay, so we are done with the angry shit. We're good now. Give me a second there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my commercial as I always do. And I realize my mic doesn't work anymore because I haven't unmuted it since we started this shit. Whew. Let me try this again. So let's watch my commercial one more time and um, we're going to get into some more stuff. God dang it. It's just me and a fan. It's just me and a fan. It's just me and a fan. It's just me and a. It's just me and a fan. Yeah, yeah. It's just me and a fan. See my little Tay Tay, that's my girl, that's my mascot. No one's go for hours and some hours till we pass out. Stay inside the house, turned up with the racks out. Stay inside the house.